that we are conformed to the image of Jesus Christ, the greater order we'll have uh, in the plan of God, the greater way we'll be able to walk and honor God and be the testimony that God wants in this world. I'm just giving you a little review right now. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3 says that Jesus was a very expressed image of God, the very expressed image of God. We mentioned the word expressed image there of, of God is actually where we get our word character from. In the Greek is character, which simply means we get our character. Now, that's what we're basically talking about. We've, we've defined, and I'm sure we'll have it back up again on the board today, uh, the definition of character. We've defined it. The definition of character is basically uh, the essence of your thoughts, your speech, your behavior, or your habits, all right? So when you talk about character, if, if, if you want to know what character really consists of, it consists of the thoughts, the speech, the behavior, and habits of the person, okay? So character is the essence of a person's the thoughts, the speech, the decisions, and behavior and habits. Character determines behavior. Notice that. So in other words, your thoughts, your thoughts, your thoughts, and all that's inside of you actually determines the way you behave, all right? And behavior demonstrates character. So if we want to uh, capture what kind of habits we want to have or what kind of behavior we want to have, then we're going to have to make sure that we do something to the character. So we have to do something with our thoughts, our mindset, and everything about us. But if we start working on the thoughts, if we start working on the thoughts, then we are going to address the behavior. Because behavior is what a demonstration of the way people think. All right? So it says that character, and, and you're going to have to remember this now, character determines behavior. So as we go further in the lesson today, remember, character determines behavior. So if character determines behavior, you, we really want to do something about our character because that's the mechanism sitting inside of us that determines how we act. So if a person doesn't like the way he or she acts, then the thing to do is, is not to start beating up the, the behavior, but do something with the character because the character will change the behavior. Amen? Praise the Lord. And behavior demonstrates character. So, if God is conforming us to the image of Jesus Christ, and the Bible says that Jesus was the very expressed image of God, meaning when you saw Jesus, you saw God. Amen? Uh, you, you saw Jesus, you saw God in his character. Jesus was the expressed image of the Father. Now, the Bible says that God, hallelujah, is, 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 pre, is, is conforming us to the image of his Son. Well, his Son was like his daddy. Amen? So if, if, if God is conforming the children like the son, then what, in, in, in essence, the children are going to begin to what? They're going to end up acting and behaving like the daddy. But they saw it being expressed, what? Through the son. Not something less than what was in God, but the very essence of God. So what Jesus expressed was not a secondary uh, behavior or beha of habits, but he actually expressed the very character the very thoughts. When you look at Jesus, you see God's thoughts in, ex in everything being expressed. If you want to know how, what God thinks about sickness, look at Jesus. If you want to know what God thinks about righteousness, look at Jesus. If you want to know what God thinks about those oppressed and possessed, look at Jesus. Because when we look at Jesus, we see the very heart of God. All right, now, God is perfect, isn't that right? So God is not being developed. He is perfect. You can't develop something that's already perfect, flawless. But we are being developed, all right? We are not perfect, all right? I can assure you, your thoughts are going to get adjusted today. If they were already perfect, there would be no adjustment. But if you're honest today, as we share, your thoughts are going to get adjusted. And if you're honest, as God shares life with you throughout this year, and the rest of, there's going to be an adjustment, which simply means we are being developed more to think, talk, behave like Jesus. Amen. I mean, how would you like to be able to have the right emotional release in all conditions and circumstances? 
Jesus did. And that's where we're on our way to. Amen? Hallelujah. Now, you're in Colossians? Okay. Colossians chapter 3. And you can read the entire, but we, we're going to pick up where we were. In verse number 9, it says, Do not lie to one another. Talking about character development, talking to believers. Believers, can, you know, believers can lie to one another. But under character development, the lying will stop. Because the thinking will change. And if the thinking change, what? The behavior is going to change. Because character is going to change. Lie not to one another since you have put off the old man with his deeds. That's the way the old man thinks. That's the way the unregenerate uh, person thinks. Okay? Just lie, do whatever to get by. Verse number 10, and have put on, talking to us, and have put on the new man, or this new person who is renewed in knowledge according to the image, that's the word icon again, of him or of him who created him. So, the Bible lets us know firmly that we are being renewed in knowledge or in insight an understanding according to the image of him who created him. So God is working on us to make us like the person created us who is God himself. You know, Ephesians talks about what? A walk in love. Walk in, and it talks about what? Walking in love like God. Not being hypocritical, sidetracked, or partial with love, but, but being fully a person of love. All right. So, if you looked at yourself in the mirror or if you've uh, done anything behavior-wise you didn't like, just, just hold yourself in the collar and say, hold on. You're not going to stay like